Hi guys and welcome back to another video, Droop Studios here. Today we'll be going through a DXVL type beat. If you haven't listened to DXVL Gums, then you should definitely go and have a listen to it. And this is a beat in that style. So first of all, I heard this crazy melody that I found on Lieberman, and this is what it sounds like. Uh, so what I've done here is added a bit of tremolo and a bit of wider on it so it's a bit of a reverb. Also I've added magic switch which gives it a kind of 80s vibe to the piano. It makes it a bit more funky and there's some. Then went in with the drums straight over the hi-hat. I kept it very bare in this circumstance. I played them in. This is the pattern. Then I came in with the clap, very simple. Then hard hitting kick. In the underground rap kind of beats that I do, I like to keep the hi-hats very bare or in the background and keep those kicks punching very hard. So that's what I've done here. Here's the drum so far with the melody. Then I've gone in here, added this reverb rim. I've seen percussion with reverb being used in Garm's beats, so I decided to add that in here, and I thought it sounded very good. Here at the start of each phrase, I've added this kind of exhale effect, so that it shows a new section each time. I do this in a lot of my beats, and it really breaks down each section nicely and reminds the listener of a new section coming or one ending. Then I came in with the bass, it's a descending and ascending pattern that I've used here using the notes from the melody and here I've used the expand soft finger bass Expand's not that expensive and it has lots of great sounds, so I definitely recommend this to everybody. So all of this together sounds like this. In terms of arrangement, once again, I have the main elements at the start. And then I have that tag come in after that section. In terms of arrangement, this time I've gone with like a stutter effect before I go into the verse here. So I literally got this section here, copied and pasted it over, and I thought that really fitted well in transitioning to the next section. In the verse, I've taken out all the elements apart from the kick and the clap, so it's very bare. And that's all I really did with the arrangement here. Very simple, very few sounds, just taking elements in and out. I hope you've enjoyed this. Definitely check out DXVL and, and make some type beats similar to his music. Maybe you might enjoy it. See you next time.